Hey, welcome to my studio. My name is Kevin Jerry and I am an upcycling product designer. I usually make things out of waste material and this is the first time we document the whole process so people can replicate it. Here we are. My studio is on top of a historical building in Hong Kong, so we got a lot of sunlight. At the same time, we got a lot of rain too. And when it rain, the rain would easily go inside the wall. And the idea here is we want to try to build a small shelter to keep the rain from going in. And the shelter will be covered with shingles made of aluminum can, which is a continuation of a project we started at a place in Portugal called Project Camp. So make sure you check that video as well. And we wonder how the shingle react to the weather in Hong Kong. And let's see how it goes. First, we need to build a wood frame around the door without screwing anything to the wall. So the wood frame has to be very tight fit. So the framing is almost done. The next step is we want to apply a method called Sosujiban or Yaki Soji, which is a method from Japan. And basically it is fire to burn outside of the wood into charcoal. So it prevents uh, the wood from the elements. So this method allows us to keep the wood outside for longer time without using any chemical or paint. I made this roof to be detachable so it's easier to show the process. Um, so now we start to put the shingles on it. So we will start on the edge it, and then we start covering this side. And let's do it. These are different sizes of can that can be found around the world. And for making roof tiles, we're going for these two sizes of the can because the piece that come out of it are relatively higher to work with. And we are using this custom made can opener to turn the cans into flat pieces. So this is where we cut the sheets into the shape we need. So instead of using hand cutting each one of them, this time we're going to use a die cut mode. So this die cut mode are usually being used in the printing industry to cut paper. So what it is is basically a piece of wood and bed a different blade into it. So when the material gets pressed uh, onto the blade, it will cut out the shape we need. So uh, this is the rolling machines. We roll the material on top and it will come out the shape we need. Probably this would be a more accurate and a much faster way to do it.
so the edge is attached so the main usage of the edge is for the shingles to hold on to the surface so this time we want to try two things differently one thing is the directional of the shingles because last time we do it horizontally but this time we want to try it diagonally because uh, the water will slide off more easily but it takes more effort to fill in the edge and the second thing is the way of securing the shingles last time we tried to reuse the tap and hold the shingle like this and put a screw here but the problem is when you put a screw here it creates a weak point for puncturing the shingles on top so this time we will use a small tap like this and then use table gun to hold it the surface would be more flat And this is how a small can roof can be done. Hope you found this useful and let me know what you think in the comment section. And see you soon.